Welcome to the Friday edition of the Fringe News with Reverend Jeff. Tonight's show is just full of amazing new content, so let's start things off right. First up tonight is Today in Bigfoot History. Yes, today is the day that Bob Hieronymus managed to squeak by and pass on his lie detector test in regards to the Patty video of 1967 fame. He did, in fact, pass, but he didn't pass with fine colors, but barely by the skin of his teeth. And the questions were skews as they were asked after he had already put on the questioned recreation suit that, by the way, still looks nothing like the Patterson Bigfoot video. Thanks to Guy Edwards of the BigfootLunchClub.com for the story. Next up, it's Daniel Dwayne with Hashtag Adventure. And this time, he's gone Bigfoot hunting. Along with his two cohorts, Daniel takes to the big bad woods in an effort to have his very own Bigfoot encounter. Following the rules of Bigfooting as the great woodsman should know, the guys pull out all the stops trying to make it happen. Check out this young filmmaker's channel at youtube.com slash it's Daniel Duane to see all his movies. And rounding out the crypto news tonight is this Bigfoot sighting video. The vibe of it gives me the chills from the hiding of the witness, but what he says about the encounter is even more bone chilling. Apparently while out camping in the woods, this witness had a late night visitor and I wasn't too happy to see him. Go to youtube.com slash funnyworld4 to see the story. Now starting off the out of this world news tonight is this UFO craft flying over a military drone testing facility. Something very strange is going on as it's investigating the site that hasn't even been set into operations. According to BobPowell.blogspot.com, this isn't even the first time that these craft have been caught on video. So keep your eyes open for the next one near you. Click on over to YouTube.com slash Bobby Powell to watch the video. Well, don't look now, but there's something in the sky over Germany. It doesn't look like it's for any kind of funny plane to me. The uploader didn't have any comments on the video other than to say that it was taken this year. But who knows just what this thing is. Flying too slow to be a plane or a bird, yet it's too fast to be a balloon and it's moving away from the camera. Go on over to YouTube.com slash best UFO sightings to see the craft. And wrapping up the out of this world news tonight is this Watcher 252 video of some sort of alien craft using a possible labor within a view of our sun. The minute long clip has several views of the captured event has been leaked out to the world just to keep us informed. Sooner or later, the watchers seem to disappear, only to pop up again to keep the news from being hidden. So navigate to the youtube.com slash thewatcher252 channel and check it out while you can. And finally tonight, I'll leave you with The Week in World from Greg Dukirk and Dana Matthews of the whofortedblog.com. This week's episode has some great entertainment in it, so be sure to visit youtube.com slash planetweirdhq to watch the whole show. Your Operation Condor message of the night is... The clock is running backwards. The clock is running backwards. Thanks for joining me for the Fringe News number 13. I'm Reverend Jeff, and may the Squatch be with you. Farting UFOs, extraterrestrial peeping toms, alien mummies, and monster bark. All of that and more in this edition of The Week in Weird. Greetings, Earthlings. I'm Dana Matthews, and welcome to the second edition of The Week in Weird. We're back with another news roundup of the strangest stories from whofortedblog.com and the world of the fringe. But first, reader mail. Turin writes, You're either going to have to do better than this, or else you're going to have to try harder to get Miss Dana's tits into the camera. Thanks, shithead. Now for the news. In the strangest attack on an Asian city since Godzilla, a bizarre, awful-smelling foam began oozing through the streets of Nanjing last Saturday night, and officials are at a loss to explain it. Locals first noticed cracks appearing in an intersection at around 9 p.m. before the strange substance started seeping into the road, bringing with it a stinking, funky smell. Firefighters and police quickly rushed to the scene to redirect traffic and hose the ooze into the gutter until it began seeping back into the cracks and out of sight. Officials think that the use could have something to do with construction on a local subway, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say Viga the Carpathian might be in town. You know who to call. A sexy Bigfoot pic popped up on the net recently, and like most good erotic photography, it left a lot to the imagination. This trail cam photo was posted to the Weather Network, of all places, with the caption Game Cam Sasquatch Leg, and appears to show a very hairy thigh just in frame. This muscular appendage is, unfortunately, the only part of the beast in frame, but it was just enough to get Bigfoot hunters talking. Some say it's not nearly ripped enough to be Sasquatch, while others think the full coat of hair says otherwise. But me? I can settle on a happy medium between man and beast, 
clearly the leg belongs to a werewolf. 